Look, Angela, my thing with you is why are so many people, <laughs> why are so many people obsessed with your dating life though? Like as long as I've known you, as long as I've had your phone number, I never text you to inquire about who you're dating. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, people think that I'm always in people's business all the time. I'm not. It's only when my staff posts stuff on the internet. But why are people, like, I feel like you're one of the few people that comes to mind that everybody is obsessed with who you're dating all the time. Why is that? You know what? I think from when I was like 18, it was always the Bow Wow thing, right? And so automatically everyone was like, are you dating him? And then after that, it was like, well, then who? And then I just feel like it's always been that. And I've been pretty quiet about who I date for the most part. You know what I mean? Like I normally don't put it out there because I just like to date. And if it doesn't work, I don't got to have everyone in my business. But um, I don't know. I really don't know. But I, I did as like a 19 year old, 18 year old girl. Like I'm like, why did I care who I'm dating? It doesn't matter. But um. Yeah, I have no idea. I but I usually, I like I said, I keep it quiet. Like, I mind my business. I date. I just, you know, I stay in my own little world. Mm -hmm. But do you, but do you see do you, you see the obsession, right? Because it is literally, it's not even like people are interested. It's People are literally obsessed. Even when, like, the Bow Wow thing, it's, so, it's almost like I think about the exes that I've been with. I've been with a f boy or two. Not to say Bow Wow, as I'm just saying I've been with one. I wouldn't want somebody trolling me my whole life, every relationship I get in or when I'm enjoying the single life with people saying, hey, what about you and so-and-so? Do you ever want to just go on social media and say, mind your f***ing business? For me, I'm so used to being in that spotlight that I'm just like, whatever. Like, whatever assumptions you want to make, make it. And I just kind of do my own thing. Like, if I'm dating someone and it's a public thing, then it's public. And if it's not, it's not. Like, that's just kind of how... I've always been and it works for me, you know, like people are going to have opinions and I'm literally just used to it at this point in my life. So when you move on from a guy, uh, from a relationship, because you are so independent, you grew up in a family where you, you know, you've had it all uh, and then you've become your own woman outside of the family to have it all. Um, right. Is that, is that, is that what gives you the strength to kind of move on like a because you be kind of bossy. Oh, oh my God, what? <laughs> Angela, <laughs> you be, you know, Angela, you don't be moving on from a relationship like a typical woman. You be like, I'm out and, you know, you're going to be okay. Like, you be, you you don't be disrespecting them, but you definitely ain't crying in the corner. It, where does that oh, come on. from? I, I, I definitely get my feelings hurt, but like, I'm not going to feel bad for myself for too long. I'm like, listen, if for whatever reason it didn't work, let me just move on. And that's it. Like, I'm hustling. I'm working. I'm young. Like, listen, I'm going to meet someone else. It's all going to make sense when it makes sense. At the end of the day, like, you know, have your moment. Be upset. Have your tears. Whatever that looks like. And then move on. Like, if it's not making sense and you both decided to go separate ways, then that's just what it is. Can we give the lady some advice? How long you think it should take them to move on? Like, how long is too long before moving on? Whatever works for you. I don't put time limits on anything. I know some people who got out of relationships immediately and wind up with someone else quickly and wind up marrying that person. I don't know. Whatever works for you. I think everything is case by case. I can't give a specific time. I think if you are self-healing and you need that moment to heal and you don't want to carry that into your next relationship, then take that time for yourself. But I wouldn't specifically give a time because I really don't think there's a specific time. Mm. So when you left Bow Wow, how long did he cry? Nah, me and him, I've known Bow since I was like 17. And so we just had a lot of back and forth. Like I love Bow to death. Like people got to know, like, that's my homie. Like if he calls me and needs me for anything, I'm here. Like that's my people. And like, we, we just, we grew together. Like I saw him have his first kid. I saw everything. So like, I was just in the mix. Like we met on a photo shoot, the word, uh, word help. When I was, um, doing that and I had a magazine with them, I did a photo shoot with him and Omarion and I met him there. And then we became super close. And just like from there, he was always there. Even when I was in a relationship, when I was younger, after I broke up with the guy I was with, I called him. I remember the day I found out dude was like cheating. He was like, I see, I told you. I mean, like he was just that guy that was always there. And like, Bow's just always been there for me. So like, he's definitely a close homie of mine. 
But do you, do you, are you one of those people like me that believes like life doesn't go in reverse? Like I won't get in any relationship that I used to be in, even if I enjoyed it a lot, or even like some of my exes I'm still good friends with. Are you one of those people that believe like, I'll never go back to a relationship I've been in? Or do you always leave yourself the chance that maybe a Val Simmons situation? Can Val happen? Simmons, what's <laughs> happening? Um, I like to say, never say never. I've learned okay. not to, to live like that because, you know, when you say, I'll never do this and you turn around and it happens like, dang, maybe I shouldn't say never. You know, I don't know when it comes to men I've dated, sometimes you've got to go your separate ways to grow and you can come back because I've seen relationships where a woman went left, a man went right, and then they met right back in the middle years later because they had to get certain things out of their system. So I'm a believer in whatever's meant to be is going to be. Mm. Are you cool with most of your exes? Yeah, I I really don't have no beef with nobody. I'm like, I'm cool. Like, yeah, even if we ended bad, like, I don't have nothing but love for anyone. Like, I don't have time for that. Like, I'm...